this is Hebs, and I'm coming at you with a tutorial for how to solve this pyraminx. So this tutorial will involve five simple algorithms and just a couple for um, the first layer, which aren't really algorithms, they're just tricks to insert the pieces. So let's get right into it. So the first step to solving this pyraminx is obviously you need to scramble it up. So that's what I'm going to do. Don't forget the tips too, which are the corner pieces on the pyraminx. Okay, so perfectly scrambled. So the first thing you want to do is get the tips matched up with its centerpiece. So the centerpieces are this, the three pieces that are in the triangle, the pieces that can be taken out of position are edges. See that was yellow and now it's yellow again because that's an edge but the centers cannot be taken out of their center position. Um, so what you want to do is line up all the tips with their center pieces. So all you need to do is just move the tips until they all line up. It's pretty simple. And then there's only four tips, which helps you like realize what you need to do on how many sides you need to do on the pyramid. They might already be solved, but I scrambled all four. Um, if you do a computer generated scramble, it might give you a scramble with no tips sometimes, but most of the time it's at least three. So the next step of solving the pyraminx is solving the centers and the edges, but you want to stay focused on the centers first. So what I usually do is solve for yellow. So you want to find the side that all the centers of the yellow side can be moved to. I know this, that this is that side because it has two yellow centers right here already aligned. And if I just move this one up, it'll be lined up so I can insert the edges. So this is the first kind of tricky part. So you need to find an edge on this layer that is yellow. And I see this one is this one right here. So what you need to do with this edge is you need to line the opposite side of it up with its side so I know this is blue because this tip is correct and this is the blue side so and also the center is correct so I know this is a blue side because those are the opposite of those and they're both correct already so basically the algorithm if it's on the right side is L inverted U L so when I say these things like L and R and U and B. I'm not going to be saying B, but just in case it gives you an algorithm. L is the left side facing you, the, fir the front side, but the left side facing you. If I say L, it's left side clockwise. If I say L inverted, it's counterclockwise, like that. If I say R, that's clockwise. And if I say R inverted, it's counterclockwise. If I say U, it's clockwise. And if I say U inverted, it's counterclockwise. If I say uh, B, it's the back side clockwise. And B inverted is the back side counterclockwise. Now, if I say little, U, like the little u would be the tip, which would be the same orientation. So clockwise would be uh, little u, and u, little u inverted would be counterclockwise. Now that goes for all the tips. B would be back, u would be up, left, or L would be left, and R would be right. So you have that one edge inserted now. You can see that this one isn't correct because it would line up with this layer. So you need to take it out using R, U, R inverted. So now it brings that piece right here 
and then you bring it to the side where it matches up with its center or with its side that's supposed to be on. So then you insert it using, since it's on the left, you use R, U inverted, R inverted. Now you see this piece, that piece was inserted, and this piece is now here. So you move it to here where it's lined up with its correct side, and then you use, since it's on the right, L inverted, U, L. Now this just gave me a last layer skip, um, which would just result in a U inverted and it's solved, but I'm also going to walk through all the different PLLs you can get. So the first PLL you can get is a case that looks like this. It has one flipped edge, an edge that is solved on one side and it's flipped on the other, and another edge that's solved on one side and flipped on the other. What you want to do is you want to put the flipped edge in the back and you have to figure out if the solved edge is right here or right here. If it's on the right side, you use the algorithm L, R inverted, L inverted, R, U, R, U inverted, R inverted. And that solves it. So this is the next PLL case you can get, which also means permuting last layer, which is just the last layer of the cube. Um, so this is the same case, it's just the other side. So as you can see, the flipped edge is in the back, the solved edge with the flipped on the side is right here, and the flipped edge facing you and solved on the side is right here. So for this algorithm, um, you're gonna use a thing called sledgehammer, which is basically R prime L R L prime. Um, uh, also, if I say prime or inverted, those mean the same thing, just counterclockwise. Um, that's called sledgehammer, and it also, if the cube is solved and you do it three times, it'll be solved again. And then the second part of the algorithm is U inverted, L inverted, U, L. Now I know I rambled a bit there, so here is the algorithm again. Um, flipped edge in the back, R inverted, L, R inverted, er, R, L inverted, U inverted, L inverted, U, L. So here's another last layer case that, um, all of the edges are flipped, as you can see, and um, they are spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. So blue needs to go here counterclockwise, red needs to go here counterclockwise, and green, that's right here, needs to go here, which is counterclockwise. So for this alg, you can um, hold it towards any side, and you just use L inverted, U, L, U, L inverted, U, L, and it solves it. And this is the other algorithm. Um, it's kind of the same case. All the edges are flipped, just like the other one. It's the mirror, so they're moving clockwise in this case. So this, wants, this green wants to go in the green side, red wants to go in the red side, and blue wants to go to the blue side. So for this algorithm, you want to do R, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R, U inverted, R inverted. Also, um, what you can think of when you're doing this, um, whatever way the, this piece wants to go, you're moving it the opposite when you do the U-turn. So see how when I do this algorithm, I'm moving it the opposite way when I do the algorithm? You can tell that by recognizing that case. Now this algorithm has two flipped edges that you hold in the front and a solved edge completely in the back. So basically you hold this in the front and this also uses the sledgehammer algorithm. <laughs> which is R prime L R L prime. Then you do 
a Z inverted turn, which is just like that. You rotate it so that the yellow goes on the bottom, and then you do double sledge. So R prime, L, R, L prime, and you do that again, and it's solved. So that has been all the cases I can show you for the pyraminx. Um, I might do another tutorial for the other method I know. It's another beginner's method that is a lot easier than this, but this method you can get a lot faster with, um, and you can get it faster quicker with it. I feel like this algorithm or this method algorithm set is really easy to learn, and it only has five algorithms, so that's a plus. And yeah, don't forget to share this video with your friends. Tell them if they like cubing too, tell them to go look at Hebs Cody's channel. Definitely don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!